What's the meaning of life? It's just Janine and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be unboxing, reviewing, and giving you a demo on clip-ins from the company Better Length. Better Length offers eight textures specially designed for black women who have perm, transitioning, or natural hair. The textures range from freshly relaxed perm hair to afro kinky coily hair. So I was very excited when Better Length sent me their clip-ins to review for my followers. With clip-ins, you can change your look and style in a matter of minutes without damaging your hair and I highly recommend them for protective styling. When I received my hair, it came in a large double satin pouch or bag to keep my extensions or clip-ins moisturized. I love the packaging, kudos on the packaging. Just the beautiful look of this bag alone should make anyone want to take care of their clip-ins. It has an easy to use ribbon drawstring, and as you can see, the company has its name and logo in gold print against the black and pink. Just a very pretty girly look. So let's take a look and see what's in this bag. So they sent me one bundle, which is claimed to be enough for one full head, of their 14 inch 3C4A Afro Kinky Curly Clip-In. These clip-ins are made of 100% human virgin hair. What I look for in my clip-ins is the quality, how well the hair is constructed, density, if it mimics my own hair, and the amount of shedding I get. So my initial reaction of this hair is that it's extremely soft, it's not rough, it doesn't have a rough texture, I think they're really going to mimic my hair and my curl pattern. It definitely has that weave smell, so you want to make sure you wash this hair thoroughly. These clip-ins come in a set of 10, 2 10-inch wefts, 2 9-inch wefts, 2 7-inch wefts, 2 4-inch wefts, and 2 3-inch wefts. And the weight of the hair is 175 grams. And it's recommended one set is enough for a full head. They also sent me a cute little card, which I'll read later. It also came with a brochure that talks more about the clip-ins and how to care for them. And I also got an edge brush. One side is the brush, one side is the comb, so I thought that was very nice of them to send that to me. It's very important that you thoroughly wash your clip-ins and your own hair before installing. The first step you want to do is to wet the hair thoroughly and detangle. Me personally, I like to detangle my tracks individually. Step number two is using your favorite sulfate-free shampoo and rinse it thoroughly out or you can co-wash. The products I'll be using to wash my clip-ins will be from the Aussie brand Miracle Curls Co-Wash with coconut oil and Australian jojoba oil. This product has no sulfates, parabens, or dyes. I have two conditioners but I'm going to use the three minute moist deep conditioner with avocado and Australia jojoba oil. And just to refresh my hair, I'll be using the Total Miracle Detangling Spray with apricot and Australian macadamia oil, which is also sulfate and paraben free. You can also apply a silicone based conditioner or mask treatment and just let it sit on the hair for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse out thoroughly. This will maintain the softness and shine of your clip ends. So once the hair is thoroughly clean, you want to squeeze out any excess water and allow the clip ends to hang dry or air dry. Do not blow dry these clip-ins. Just a side note, it is normal to see some hair dye to bleed after the initial wash and also minimum hair shed is expected as with any clip-in extensions.
video, guys. I hope you enjoy watching me install these clip-ins that I got from Better Length. I really enjoy these clip-ins. They are amazing on my hair. I love them. They are super, super soft, very curly, and it does mimic my curl pattern. I love the texture. I just love everything about this hair. Zero, absolute zero complaints about this hair. So the look that I have right now is just a simple boho look that is like summer, spring type of a look. It's a chunky twist, kind of a messy twist. I got some big twists, small twists, but it's just all fall into one side and just a clump of twist. So maybe after a couple of days after unraveling it, it'll create a much more defined chunky twist uh, to the side. So that's what I'm kind of going for. But I'm just gonna leave it in these twists for now. But I'm just gonna leave it in these twists for now just for a protective style. I can't stress enough how much I'm feeling this hair. I am absolutely in love with this hair. So after installing the clip-ins, I only had two left. So these clip-ins create a very full look. So as they state on their website, they do recommend uh, one set for a whole head and it definitely is enough for a whole head and you may have extra left over like I did. I had zero complaints from start to finish with this hair and I just cannot wait to try more styles with this hair. So a couple of products that I found work amazing on this hair and I showed it early in the video but I want to kind of stress it again just in case someone gets this hair and they want to know what products they can use. So I would strongly recommend the Aussie. This is the Total Miracle Detangling Spray. It is very very moisturizing. It has a lot of great slip in it and it also smells really good but this is with the Apricot and Australian Macadamia Oil. Now I'm all for gels and getting definition, but I don't recommend putting gels on this hair, although you can. But if you don't want to have that stickiness and that continued buildup over time where you find yourself having to keep washing your clip-ins, I would strongly recommend from the Eden Body Works, this is their Almond Moisture almond marshmallow hydration serum so it has the moisture that you need it has a slip that you need it has just enough jelliness in there to give you that definition that you want with these uh, clip-ins and it really doesn't take a lot for these clip-ins to get defined so this is some really great stuff not only on your natural hair but also on these clip-ins as well so i hope again you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to comment don't forget to share my content don't forget to subscribe of course and make sure that you do hit that notification bell so that you'll be alerted of upcoming videos so by the time this video goes up it should be my birthday which is tomorrow march 12th so i will be the big four oh i will be officially out of my 30s and i will be 40 years old yes 40 years old i am old Yes, so happy birthday to me, and I thank you in advance for all your birthday wishes because I know they'll probably start pouring in. So thank you guys so much again for watching. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.